how's it going? This is Tyler with TarverAcademy.com. If you could hit that red subscribe button, oh, that would that would mean a lot to me. I mean that. Okay, it's time to learn how to um, go into a Google Sheet and delete rows and columns. All right, well, this is a pretty nice one. I like this because I love a good, clean Google Sheet. So what you can do is, um, you see over here, your rows are going to have numbers. Everybody see that? Your columns are going to have letters of the alphabet. To select the entire column, you want to click on the actual box that contains the letter. So make sure you click on that. If you just click it down here, it's just going to select individual cells. We want to click select all of it. So let's start with uh, columns. So say I want to delete one column. I can just click on the E, just a regular clicked on it, and now I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to hit delete column. It just deleted it. Now you're thinking, well, there's still an E there. Well, what it did was it deleted this column Z. Now, I'm going to show you how to delete all of these columns. So you're going to click this. I just clicked it and let go. Now I'm going to scroll over, and I'm going to hover over the furthest one that I want to delete. I'm going to hold the Shift button. So hit the Shift button and hold it, and then you click on that. So that's going to grab everything in between these two. Okay, so my first click was still selected, and then I held shift and clicked the, la clicked the last one. Now I'm going to right click on that, like actual letter, and I'm going to say delete columns. Boom! See that? No more scrolling into the abyss of cells to the right. Um, now I've still got my. Um, my rows, I can click this one and I'm just going to scroll down. Now they give you like a thousand row, rows to go with, so I'm going to hold the shift button, select it, and then I'm going to hit delete. Delete rows, boom. Now I'm just showing the data that I care about. Now if you ever want to add a column, you just right click on this column and say insert one to the right. Boom. Keep adding them in. You're good to go. If you want to add uh, rows is a little easier. You just select how many it is, which falls behind everything. Thanks. Give me updated, Peter. So I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to hit add. Boom. It adds those in there, and you're good to go. All right. That's it. You just learned it. It's a great one because it helps clean up a Google Sheet. I use this all the time to uh, make it to where I don't have a lot of extra stuff floating around. So if you ever share a Google Sheet with me, that is one of the first things I'll do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, this is Tyler with Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. And, uh, I mean, that would just be super cool. Dude. Also, never stop learning. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free. It costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come train you on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.